Nityanandam. Hi folks, this is Manitya Shantananda Swami and welcome back to my YouTube channel Kalpataru. So in my previous video I was talking about how context is everything and I how I learned uh, about uh, having a context for everything after I met Swamiji. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about uh, another very important thing that I learned um, after I met Swamiji um, this is about this is to do with our own image what we think about ourselves so until I met Swamiji I did not know myself what I am who I am what am I here for I did not know what kind of a person or neither did I bother to find out uh, or contemplate introspect or do any of those things to find out what kind of a person I am so only after I met Swamiji uh, and did his uh, programs I um, started contemplating and giving more attention towards what I think about myself Swamiji calls it the inner image that I carry about myself so he says uh, he, says, he says very beautifully in his uh, Genesis of Identity session in the Inner Awakening program. If you do it, you, can, you will also experience it. Uh, he says very beautifully how we all carry uh, this very low self-image about ourselves. Very low inner image about ourselves. Always. It's always lower than what it really is. So, I always had this low uh, self-image uh, to tell you the truth before I met Swamiji I was not someone who would talk like this on a video I am not at all a talking person but nowadays I mean after I met Swamiji now uh, I have been even doing TV shows and also doing YouTube videos like this uh, it was something unthinkable or uh, something I cannot even comprehend that I would do <laughs> earlier so now you can see how much of a transformation has happened in that area, particular area. So the image that I carried was something uh, like uh, I did not think uh, I did not have a great inner image. I did not think I was a very smart person. That I I was very intelligent. I did not think I was very intelligent or smart. I had. Um, I had siblings who were really intelligent and smart who always you, uh, got uh, you know first uh, in in the class so I always had this low in when both of them were so good at school and I never cared for study studies or even if I did study um, study hard, really hard I would never remember any of those things I would really struggle in school so I always had a low self image very low image about my own intelligence my own smartness uh, about how much I could uh, uh, you know do well uh, everything starts in school for in India if you're not doing good in school in your studies you are dumb and if you're dumb you're not good at anything you didn't get uh, um, good marks at school so you are not uh, really intelligent so you you just carry that image throughout your life so I never had a very good image in our image about myself which led um, me to hesitate uh, to talk to people even um, or even communicate with people so as I grew up that was the image that I carried so the outer image however was one of <laughs> I always showed myself as in an intelligent person of course uh, the outer image Swamiji says is always something higher than what you really are so the outer image is what you project to the world what you show you are to the world so I always projected myself as a very nice person who is always helpful who tried to help others who you know the goody goody very nice nice image always smiling friendly uh, and uh, smart and in intelligent of course um, so this was the outer image that I carried 
and the other's image of course was i did not care anything about what others thought about me um others image swami ji says the others image is what people expect or, or what others uh, think about you what they expect from you because of the the way we project ourselves to the world the world expects something from us see if you carry an outer image that you are a very helpful person very goody goody nice i'm always there for you kind of image definitely the world will start expecting something from you right they will start thinking that you are there for them right so but uh you're not there you because you don't care for the world so but the, our others image is what the other others or the people in the world carry about you what do they think about you that is called the others image or that is the uh the expectation uh they have from you this is the others image so the life image the fourth one is what uh i carry about life what do i expect from life do i think that life is difficult do i think life is easy do i think life always gives me some problem always uh causes pain what is the kind of at, uh, uh idea what is the idea i have about life uh this is called the life image i always had this Im uh, image about life where i thought i had to struggle hard to get anything so that always resulted in me having to struggle hard to get anything so life always gives me what i wanted but i have to struggle hard for it was the image that i carried about life so you see it has a very um what we think about ourselves what we think about life has a very strong impact on the kind of life we lead it is um just imagine if you even before you start doing something if you think oh i am not so intelligent i am not so smart i am definitely not going to succeed in this how are you going to succeed even though you show off 